Welcome back, my TPC. Mark, back with you, another video. It is currently 16 degrees. I might have to turn the light on here, sorry, folks. It's currently 16 degrees in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, it's going to cool down. It's going to get cold, actually, um, this weekend. I think the high tomorrow is not much over 10, something like that. Out in the van, having a smoke, smoking my Savinelli La Corda in it. Some sun bear that I brought. I actually stopped at the, uh, on the way down here, we made a little detour to Bloomington, Indiana, back to the Briar and Burley, and I got two tins of the sun bear. I liked it so much. That's why I love it. Hope everyone had a wonderful Friday. Ours didn't go too bad. Much better than yesterday. Um, the machine that was hanging us up, we got running this morning. Made some progress on a couple others, so that was good. I'm going to ask, beginning of every video, I'm going to start with this video, what pipe you're smoking and what tobacco you're smoking in that pipe starting today. So please comment. If you're not smoking, what did you smoke previous today or what are you going to... Um, So, a couple of videos ago, I was talking about, um, I blended a little bit of BCA into my Bichu that I got. Just sweeten it up a little bit, and it worked, which I'm happy about. Um, so I got a, a dilemma that's been going on for probably two years because one of my absolute favorite aromatics was um, Appalachian Harvest by Old Shenandoah. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, if it was cost constraints or what, they discontinued it. There is nothing to replace it out there. There's nothing close to what that stuff. It was amazing. But I would like to try to blend something up that would, you know, basically be it. Um, it's it's <clears throat> basically Virginia's, Burley, and Black Cavendish. And I think it's primarily, it's like 50% Black Cavendish and the rest Virginia's and Burley's. But I'm not quite sure about that even. Um, I kind of need some help if anyone knows. You know, where I could look up what, you know, how much of what is in it, was in it. I have some. So Lane Limited made this stuff. I have some Lane Limited Black Raspberry which would definitely go in this blend if I'm to do this. But obviously I just started blending tobaccos together. I don't have much experience with it. Um, I could use a little help if anyone has any, any advice or anything that they could pass on or if they're familiar with you know, what I need to do, I would really appreciate it. If I could get that blend down, I would be a very happy man. To 
say the least. One thing with this hotel, there is so much around. We're in Hamburg, by the way, Hamburg, Kentucky. Just outside of Lexington. And there is so much around this hotel in this town. It's unbelievable. I just went and got me a French vanilla cappuccino. Um, we already rebooked this hotel for the next trip. That's how much we like it. Um, yeah, it's always nice when you can stay somewhere. You find a hotel where there's just everything around you. Restaurants, shopping, you know, um, different stores. It's always good to have that. Sometimes it's it, you can't get that. Um, you're kind of limited. Hmm. Probably not to relight it. Hmm. There we go. So anyway, yeah, I brought Sunbear with me on this trip because I knew I was going to pick up more. I was getting kind of low in my jar at home, but I took half of that, put it in my bag. By the way, that bag that I showed you guys is working out very well. That's I'm glad I found that. It's working really well. I can hold four pipes, two lighters, tamper. I actually have a lighter fluid, can of lighter fluid in there, some butane in there, three different tins of tobacco. Got a lot of responses from last night's short video. I don't know if that's why, because it was so short. <laughs> um, but um, I think that's not why. It's just the question, and everybody's contributing what you know, what their favorite pipe shape is. To be honest with you, I really, I don't really have one set, a set favorite shape yet. Um, I like bents. I like straights. I don't own a Canadian yet. Um, maybe eventually I'll buy a Canadian. Everybody says they smoke wonderfully. I'm just not, I don't know, I'm just not there yet. Where uh, Meerschaum and Canadian, I, those are the, I'm not there yet. So tomorrow, Saturday, it'll be a full day. Saturday and Sunday will be a very full day at work. We're going to try to get as much done as we can, which those usually are pretty productive days for us. Uh, not much else really want to talk about. That's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in the video. Not looking forward to the cold coming back. I know that. And when we're leaving, I think it'll be warming up. To, it'll be in like the 60s. I think the day we leave here, we'll be back up pretty warm. So I don't know. Maybe it'll hang around until we, get, we come back. I don't know. But the weather we've had here since we've been here is very... That's... Yeah, it's like a fluke. They don't get this much snow down here usually all all winter. Oh well. Nothing I'm not used to. But uh, once again, let me know what you're smoking, what pipe you're smoking. Um, appreciate everybody coming back, constantly coming back and making their presence known to me and supporting the channel. Love it. Um, Hope everybody has a great weekend. Till next time, keep it lit.